Hi everyone, today I'm here to show you how to get started with iNice. It comes out with new features now. Okay, let's get started. First, let me introduce iNice. Simply, iNice is a serverless cloud and marketplace for open source project. So you can instantly deploy, run, and explore any open source project. Here, deploy is free. Almost no creators pay money to publish their contents except for developers. But developers pay cloud platform providers to rent computing power and storage to service their application to the market. It costs a couple hundred US dollars per month to maintain the server. Also, developers use open source to build apps, but it takes time and effort to deploy them. iNice is a kind of verb, which means that integrating the open source with iNice platform. We call this integration step to iNiced. It means that the project was deployed to ionized. Only the open source project which has a Docker file can be ionized. Finally, ionized makes this open source to a live service. Let's see a cool example using ionized. A developer developed COVID-19 dashboard in a day. Let's see how he did it. First of all, Johns Hopkins University provides COVID-19 data through the GitHub repository. The developer who saw it made the data to API and deployed the API on iNice. So anyone can use the API. After that, other front-end developer developed a dashboard using the API. He dockerized the project and deployed the dashboard on iNice. In conclusion, both backend API and front-end dashboard are deployed on iNice. This is the Docker file of COVID-19 dashboard. You need to create a Docker file for your open source project to be an ionized project. This is the Corona board deployed on ionize. Both backend API and frontend dashboard are deployed on ionize. So now we will simply take a look at how to deploy your project to ionize. First of all, your project must be uploaded to the GitHub repository. Also, as I mentioned before, your project must include Docker file in the root path of your project. If you have a GitHub repository and your repository has a Docker file, you can deploy it to iNice. Next, copy your GitHub repository URL and go to iNice website. Then you can see this landing page. If you don't have an account, you can sign up with your GitHub account. You can see this pop up if you click the sign in with GitHub button. Click the authorize iNice green button to sign up. After signing up, you can see this dashboard. In the top navigation bar, you can enter GitHub repository URL you want to ionize. If you paste the URL you copied earlier, search result will be appeared like this. This repo hasn't been ionized, so you can ionize this repository. Let's click the Go button. Then you can see the list of branch of the repository. Select the branch you want to deploy. Then it checks the branch of the repository has a Docker file or not. If it has a Docker file, this port and environment variable setting menu will be shown. If you click the menu, you can see this environment variables drawer. Here, you can change the port you want to expose. You must check the port number used by the application. If the port number is incorrect, the application will not working properly. In addition, you can add or remove environment variables for your application. Please make sure to set the environment variables for the application to work. After setting the port and environment variables, click the Add button. Then the deploying process will be started. This is the repository page. You can see the deploying status. When the deploying is finished, the endpoint URL will be shown like this. That's all. Isn't it cool? I deployed my GitHub project on the server in a minute. This is iNice. So from now on, I will introduce the features of the repository page. This is the repository page of JavaScript Tetris I just deployed. In the repository page, there are a lot of features. Let's take a look at each of these. The intro tab is for displaying markdown files to other users. You can upload your own markdown file. Click the upload button and select the markdown file to upload. Only files with MD extension are allowed. After that, you can see the markdown file like this. Next, the API tab is for displaying Swagger files to other users. 
you can upload your own Swagger file. Click the Upload button and select the Swagger file to upload. Only files with JSON and YAML extension are allowed. After that, you can see the Swagger file like this. The demo tab is for preview of endpoint site. If your project is a kind of website or has a front-end page, you can show your site here by defining demo path. Click the Define Demo Path button. Then you can see this dialog. Simply write down the detailed path that follows the endpoint URL and click the Update button. Then the website of the page will be loaded like this. Users can interact with button link in the site. Here, this is a Tetris project. So users can play Tetris games here. Also, you can open the site in the new tab by clicking Open in New Window menu. Then you can see the site in the new tab. Next, the Log tab is for displaying general logs from the server. And the Build tab is for displaying build logs only. You can change the port and the environment variables by clicking the menu. If you change the port or the environment variables, you have to save and redeploy your branch. Then the new values are applied. More button contains button snippet menu. It shows run on ionize button and copy button. This is for adding run on ionize button to your GitHub repository and help users instantly run your application. Click the copy button and paste it into your readme.md file in your GitHub repository. After that, you can see run on ionize button in your repository. Other users can run your application simply by clicking this button. In the select box, you can see the list of ionized branch of the repository. And you can ionize a new branch by clicking Add menu. Save button is a kind of star button in GitHub. If you save the repository, the status changes to saved. And you can see the list of saved repositories in the dashboard. In the dashboard, there exist two tabs. First one is My Contributions. It shows the list of my contributions like ionize a new repo, redeploy the branch, and so on. And second saved repos tab shows the list of saved repos as I mentioned before. If you are interested in any project, save them and check them later. Finally, I will explain about Explore. Explore menu exists in the top navigation bar. If you click the menu, you can see this screen. Featured projects are interesting projects have already been ionized. Let's see the You Got It project. You Got It is a project that converts selfies to animation characters or vice versa. First, select the converting mode and click the file select button and select the selfie or anim fits the mode. Then the image will be converted. Very interesting. Let's go back to explore page and look at recent menu. Recent page shows other ionized projects. If you find an interesting project, try it yourself and save it for future reference. Let's see the Stargun V2 project. This is the repository page of Stargun V2. It has already been ionized. You can see the project description in the intro page. And also you can see Swagger document in the API page. You can call the API directly here. But now, I will try it by accessing the endpoint directly. Click the endpoint URL. This is Stargun v2 website deployed on ionize. First, choose the face type between human and animal. And next, choose a photo and click the run button. After a few seconds, you can see the result. Isn't it amazing? You can download the result image by clicking the download button. In this video, I explained about iNize and how to deploy your open source project to iNize. And we looked at some interesting iNized projects. Thank you for listening. Currently, we are conducting closed beta service. So now, if you wanted to use iNize, you should apply for beta. However, when we start the open beta service, the beta application step will be disappeared. Open beta will be start soon. So please pay attention to iNize and subscribe newsletter. Thank you.